everyone. So today we are doing a baby haul. I'm going to show you some things that I bought after we brought the baby home. So after Lucian was born, some things that I did not have that I needed and realized I needed really quickly or some things that were still left over on my registry. Just went ahead and used my completion discount and got a couple things and yeah. And I'm also gonna show you some baby clothes that we got that we definitely did not need, but they were on sale and <laughs> I couldn't resist, you know. You know me when it comes to baby clothes. I just, they get me every time, okay. So anyways, that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna show you some baby stuff. So I hope you're ready, here we go. If you hear any weird sounds, that's because needs Oh, baby is crying. We were trying to do this during nap time and I don't, <laughs> this is what we get for planning anything with a newborn, right? right BRB, we're already off to a good start. <laughs> all right, we're back. I think we're okay for now. Now Neens is hacking all over the place. With, uh, this would not be a baby haul without a crying baby and a hacking chihuahua in the background. I don't know what's happening. We're gonna try to get through this. Here we go. All right, so. Before we jump into this though, I wanted to mention the sponsor for today's video, which is Native. I've jabbed my jaws about Native on my channel before because I'm obsessed with anything and everything I've tried from Native so far. Their body washes, their toothpaste, their sunscreen, and of course my favorite, their deodorants. And I'm especially thankful for their deodorants right now because for one, it is summer. It is so freaking hot outside already. But second of all, I am postpartum, which the postpartum sweats are real. I could not do this whole sweaty summer situation with without native deodorants. And if you haven't tried the native deodorants before, first of all, they're aluminum free and paraben free. They're also cruelty free and vegan. Native deodorants also come in their classic plastic packaging as well as their plastic free packaging. And the deodorant that comes in the plastic free packaging is the same formula as their regular deodorant. It's just in more sustainable packaging. Also, I love the texture of the native deodorants. I love that they're not sticky and they feel dry while applying. And I cannot talk about native deodorants without talking about the scent selection. Their scent selection is what drew me to this entire line to begin with. They have all sorts of amazing, unique scents. They have their classic scents as well as limited edition scents. This time though, I tried a few different deodorants and plastic free packaging. Try the lilac and white tea. It just smells nice and clean. A little bit florally but not overwhelming. Also this eucalyptus and mint. It's so nice and invigorating and refreshing. Also I tried the coconut and vanilla. Perfect for summer. Anyways per usual I have a steal of a deal for you guys if you're looking to try out some native products. So you can click my link down in the description box and use my code Libra12 to get 20% off your first purchase with native. And this offer is available site-wide so anything you're wanting to try from native but it's only for a limited time so definitely stock up while you can anyways let's jump into this baby haul we've got screaming babies we've got a panting chihuahua what's going on over here are you hot this is a total dumpster fire of a situation already but here we are we are getting back into the groove y'all <laughs> we got to we gotta start somewhere and good thing we have some good old coffee right here because you know ghoul needs it. We're running on 2.5 seconds of sleep and here we go. I feel like we're doing pretty well, all things considered. <laughs> Let's jump into this baby haul, shall we? And I should say before I jump into this that everything I mentioned in this video I'll have linked down in the description box for you and also in the products and current video area which is near around the description box thing, but it'll be in both places for you. Anyways, so first up, I'm gonna start with something that I didn't know I needed, but I definitely needed it, and it is a game changer for me. It is this wipe dispenser. The reason why I didn't think I needed this is I was like, they're already, like wipes are already in little packages, so why do you need a dispenser? So you take them out of the package and put them in a dispenser. Like I didn't understand what the deal was, but now I get it. I am a believer in this kind of situation because nothing is worse than waking up at two o'clock in the morning, you're so tired, you have two seconds of sleep and you're reaching for your wipes and you go to pull one single wipe out and you pull the whole thing out. They all just come out in one big chunk and it's horrible and you gotta smash them back in and they never lay right after that. It's honestly the worst. It, it, it's not the worst thing that could ever happen in the world, but it is one of the worst things that can happen at two o'clock in the morning. You don't wanna be doing one single thing extra. So enter this wipe situation. I almost call it a wipe warmer, but it's not a warmer. It's just a wipe dispenser and it's from the OXO brand, which I love this brand in general. You just press the lid down and it just floats up all magical and stuff. And then on the inside, this is where it gets good. It has this weighted thing. It's like a weighted 
rectangle with a hole in it and you put it in there and you put all your wipes in there and then you just take one single wipe out and I was like this is not gonna work how does this even work what kind of sorcery is this but it is some sort of sorcery I'm not really too sure what when you go to take one single wipe out you just take one out and the other one is ready to grab right there it doesn't take 30 wipes out it doesn't take two wipes out one single individual wipe and then the other one is ready to go just to grab and the glorious cycle continues so i am sold on this thing i recommend this to anyone and everyone if you are pregnant if you know somebody who's pregnant or maybe you're going through the same thing with the wipe situation it is a lifesaver at two o'clock in the morning all right so per usual my camera keeps trying to find a face over here in the bats which kind of freaks me out but also I feel like it's oddly on brand so I never really sweat it too bad. Just let me know if you see some sort of apparition pop up behind me. Just let me know. Just give me a little warning. <laughs> Anyways, got this diaper, what is this? Changing station organization situation. <laughs> Anyways, I'll show it in all of its glory with the stuff in it and on it so you can actually get a better look at it. So I got this thing to kind of organize everything on top of the dresser so I can just grab it and change them really quick. So you put the diapers here in these little compartments, the wipes on top, and then on the sides, there are these compartments on the side where you put diaper rash cream or Vaseline or whatever kind of situations you have. I loved this because I like that it's kind of discreet. In general, I like how it looks on the dresser and I like that everything is nice and organized. Love this whole situation. Okay, moving on. All right. We're sweating, we have hair everywhere and we need to sip a coffee. Here we go. Mr. Skeleton, take the wheel. I'm just kidding. So next, this whole situation was on my registry and I didn't end up getting it. So I used my completion discount. So I got this whole skip hop bath set. This is so cute. It's a whole whale theme, which I think is really cute. Cause first of all, it's a whale, which is so cute, but also it's gray, which kind of goes with everything. It comes with this cute little whale scoop guy where you scoop up the water and you can pour it over your baby's head to kind of rinse off any soap and all that kind of stuff. And then the tail is the handle. I think this is so cute. I love it. Is it necessary? Absolutely not. But is it so cute? Yes, I could easily use some old beat up cup and it would serve the same purpose. But did I want the whale one? I did. I got the whole set. I really wanted it. Also, it came with the whale. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. The little whale spout cover. So it covers the bath spout so your baby doesn't hit their head on it or knock them. I think there's nothing worse than getting scraped by the bath spout. If you remember being a kid and your shoulder hits it, your knee hits it, whatever, it hurts. So there's this little spout cover. And once again, the shape of a whale. This is so cute and just covers the little spout. And it also came with this whole cushiony set thing. So you have the elbow cushion rest thing that you put over the side of the tub. So when you're leaning over to wash your baby, your elbows, your arms, everything, you have a little cushion there. Also, this is a necessity, this little knee pad situation, but it's also in the shape of a whale, which is so cute, but it's nice and cushiony. My mom actually used this the other day. She gave Lucian a bath and she used this and she was like, oh, this is nice, but this is so cute. I love the whole little whale shape kind of thing. So I got the whole whale bath set. Couldn't resist and I love that it all goes together because it looks nice in the bathroom. It looks really cute. All right, next up, another necessity that I had to get more of and I thought I had enough. Like I thought I got a lot of these and it still wasn't enough. Uh, I got some more burp cloths, these muslin burp cloths. These are so nice. I got these off of Amazon. I have three packs of these. These are so nice. They're absorbent. They're soft. They're really great. Uh, and they can be used for everything. I use them to kind of cover Lucian's little area so he doesn't pee all over me. I use them in the tub. I use them to wipe his face. I use them literally, of course, for burping and that kind of stuff. We use these for everything. So when they say, like I kept seeing everyone say, get more burp cloths than you think you need. Get the most burp cloths. And I thought I did. I think I had two packs of these and another pack for my shower. Uh, and it wasn't enough. Got more of these. So I would say if you're pregnant with your first and you're looking for stuff to put on your registry, put all the burp claws on there, even more than you think you need, because I feel like you can never have enough. And these are really nice. I got these gray ones. And this whole set had more of an ombre effect. So it came with the darker ones and they slowly get lighter. And if you already know about burp claws and all the burp claws you need, then you know. Um, I didn't know. I'm over here buying more burp claws. Next up, another thing I definitely needed that uh, we realized pretty quickly 
uh, we needed some stain remover and I wanted something that was kid friendly. I didn't know if all stain removers were created equal. I don't, I didn't know much about much at all actually. Um, but this was on my registry. So I went ahead and grabbed these. Uh, it's this Miss Mouse Messy Eater Stain Treater. It actually came with two. The other one's down in my laundry room. But I keep this in my diaper changing cart that I have in my bedroom right now. Keep it in there in case of emergency so I can go ahead and start spraying it as the stains are happening. Also something else I needed. Whoa, I got this Frida Baby cradle cap kind of system situation. I don't know what it is, but little babies get this. If you don't know what cradle cap is, it's kind of, it looks like dry skin on top of their head or in the back of their head or whatever. And it just looks really dry and flaky. Um, but yeah, this is supposed to be a whole thing for it. Um, but I use this for bath time and I love it because it's got this little brush that has one side that has, seriously, this is the softest brush ever. Like I could just sit here all day and just pet this brush. I feel like an ASMR channel needs to seriously just sit there and pet this all day and listen. So it has this kind of brush situation on one side and I use this to kind of scrub Lucian's head with a little bit of soap like his shampoo and just kind of scrub his head and get off any dry skin and then the other side is a sponge and then it also comes with a little comb and this whole stand, which is great because I love anything that already has a stand or a way to store things. Haven't had a problem with the cradle cap or whatever it's called. Haven't had a problem yet. So next up, let's move on to something fun. I saw this, I can't remember where I saw this, but somebody talked about these and I had to get them because I thought this was a really good idea. It's these inkless ink pads. You can get your baby's footprints and handprints, but they're inkless. So you don't have to get ink all over the place. And I know they give you the baby's footprints and handprints at the hospital. Like when you, or at least the hospital I went to, they give you your baby's footprints and handprints. I believe they've done that for years, but, uh, but the ones we got, they have the whole hospital name on it and the whole thing. So I wanted one that I could frame and put in his room or put in our room or wherever in the house or give his gifts. So anyways, we got these and I'm really excited about these because they actually turned out really great. Actually, the hand prints didn't turn out so much. Lucian is not wanting to put his whole hand out and I'm trying to get it on there and it ends up just being a mess. Um, so anyways, it's Lucian's first finger painting slash art situation. Um, but his footprints turned out perfect and hopefully none of the grandparents are watching this video because I'm giving them to the grandpas for Father's Day. The grandpas are gonna get a Lucian footprint framed. Uh, but yeah, and they come in these little, it comes with a lot actually, and I'll show you what it looks like. It comes with these little packages and little pieces of paper, and then you just put this down on the piece of paper and the baby steps on it or puts her hand on it, and then it presses into the paper. So you don't have to get ink on the baby at all or get it everywhere, it just stays on the paper. Anyways, I love these, I think it's a really great idea, a really great gift idea as well if you're looking for something. So next up, more essentials. We needed some more of these bottles these uh, Phillips, I don't ever know how to pronounce this. Avent, 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 I don't know, it could be any of those. We love these bottles. Uh, we tried the Dr. Browns, we tried the Mam ones, and we tried these Phillips, Avent, 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 whatever they are. These ones I got just in our situation, I know every baby is different, everyone is different, every situation is different. I thought these were the best, especially since Lucian, we're doing a nursing slash pumping combo. So I'm nursing and pumping. So I wanted a bottle where he could easily transition between the two. This is the bottle that has the least confusion. And like I said, I know every baby is different. So there may be, you may have a baby out there and you're like, those did not work for me. Uh, my baby was even more confused or whatever. I feel like with these, we experienced the least amount of gas and the closest to a latch. Like I feel like when we were using the Dr. Browns and we went back to nursing, it hurt so bad. Like he was trying to latch like that bottle and <laughs> no, no sir, we're not going back. Uh, so with these ones though, I feel like it's a seamless latch. He latches right onto the bottle, there's no confusion. Uh, and he also latches right onto me and it doesn't hurt. So I love these bottles. I feel like there's something to them. I feel like a lot of people rant and rave and love these. I totally get it. So I got the three pack of the zero month plus, which is what he's drinking right now. And I got, the one month plus which these are the larger bottles got these as well so uh for the future 
So yeah, got these, love these, highly recommend. Once again, everyone's different, every baby's different, but I love them. All right, next up, got a couple things for our, what is this, diaper pail, that's what I'm talking about. I got this Munchkin diaper pail for my shower, and we love it. I heard a lot of people talk about how diaper pails aren't necessary, and just use a trash bag or trash can or whatever, but I have to disagree. And yes, you have to have the special bags, but I actually really like these. I feel like the convenience factor and the fact that it doesn't smell at all, I feel like all of that makes it worth it. But yeah, anyways, I got a couple of these diaper pail refills. These are the trash bags for the diaper pail. And I got these scent pucks. So one of the reasons I loved the Munchkin diaper pail is it has a whole little thing at the top where you can put a little deodorizer. Actually, these are pretty good size. I shouldn't say little, but it has a deodorizer puck that you can kind of, they can kind of twist onto the lid and then it kind of keeps all of the scents and nasty smells kind of, it deodorizes them basically. So I got a couple of the refills, the Munchkin puck refills and I love whatever the scent is whatever scents they have going on I love everything about it they smell so good and I don't know it's it's like a baby smell meets fresh meets I don't know but I love the whole smell all right so before we get into the clothes got some things from happiest baby slash snoo if you've heard of the snoo then you know about the snoo but if you haven't heard about the snoo it's this very fancy bassinet kind of situation. It's a bassinet, like I'll show a video of it so you can see, cause it's hard to explain otherwise, but it's a bassinet that essentially rocks your baby to sleep or like has like some sort of movement. It's supposed to mimic the womb and the sound. It also has a white noise machine built into it. And it's a whole fancy situation. These are the swaddle sacks that attach to the side of the snoo. And they have this really cute, I don't know if these are planets. I think they're supposed to be planets. But they have, they have different colors, different prints, stuff like that. But, but I like the whole planet and galaxy theme that they have. So we got a couple more of these. We got the small, medium, and the large. So they all come in a pack of three. Uh, so we're already using the size small. That is one thing I will say. If you do get the snoo, you're going to need extras of these snoo sacks because uh, there were a couple of blowouts that we had in the snoo and we had to wait for one to wash and dry and it was a whole mess. So now we have three snoo sacks. I would say you'd probably be fine with two, but the third wouldn't hurt. So now we have three of each size. So if there are any blowouts, anything, we are covered, we have backups, and we don't have to wait for something to wash and dry. And these take forever to dry. I will say that is the one downside to these things. Drying them takes 3,000 years, or maybe it's just my dryer's old, but still. Okay, next. Also during the snoo sale or happiest baby sale, we got, this was totally unnecessary, but I'm kind of nerding out about it because it's so cute. We got this happiest baby sky mobile and this is the mobile for the snoo, which I didn't even know they had a mobile for the snoo. I had never seen it before, but we were just looking at the website and seeing what else was on sale. And we saw this and it is so cute. I will show what it looks like. And Lucian loves it. He loves staring up at the little faux clouds and just watching it. And it's really cute because it's just little white clouds. So aesthetically it goes with anything, but underneath the clouds, it actually looks like clouds. Like it's blue and white. And so they move around. He loves it. Super cute. You can also use it when you're not using the snoo anymore. So it doesn't have to go over the snoo only. It can also just be hung in the nursery. So anyways, okay. And then last but not least from Happiest Baby, we got some of these fitted sheets and we got the black star ones, which I think these are really cute. Once again, love this whole aesthetic. And then we got the white fitted sheet with the black stars all over it. So I love this whole, and they go with the, here I'll show you. Well, I'll show you what it looks like with Lucian in the snoo, but it all goes together. So between the snoo sack and the fitted sheet, you have like a whole cute little galaxy aesthetic. It's super cute. I love the whole design. Okay, last but not least. Okay, let me take another. I've been talking 500 miles a minute. This coffee is helping me y'all. So I got some clothes, <laughs> some baby clothes. We didn't need them, but there were a bunch of sales out there for Memorial Day and they had some really cute stuff. So, you know, we got some clothes. Okay. First place we went, we went to Oshkosh and Carter's, like the little combo. Oh my gosh. We got a couple of newborn stuff, not a lot, but he's still in newborn clothes, but he's not in newborn footy pajamas anymore. Anything that has the little footies, he's too long for, but all the zero to three stuff, it's too big in the like the stomach area and the arms are too long. He's got some long legs like somebody else I know. <laughs> His mom may or may not be a spider. So 
Uh, anyways, first thing we got at Carter's, this super cute little romper. It's this little kind of waffle looking fabric, little thermal waffle situation. And it's this cute little romper, little tank top romper with a hood. He looks so cute in it. We got this, this is zero to three months, I believe. And uh, we got this, got this little sleeper pajama thing. Uh, this is so cute. It's all gray. First of all, you know, I love this aesthetic, but we got it because we saw these little, okay, first of all, look at the little seal. You see the seal? Uh, we said that's Neen's and Bailey is back here, which if you're new here, Bailey is our Chihuahua slash Min Pin mix that passed away last year, but we still talk about him because he's still part of our family. He's just, you know, over the rainbow bridge. He's a little wolf dog looking situation. <laughs> so we got Neen's and Bailey all on one little sleeper pajama thing. And this is once again, that really soft kind of waffle feel. I love these little thermal waffle kind of sleeper situations. Also from Carter's, did we get anything else? Oh, we got this. Uh, this is from the Oshkosh section of Carter's or the combo, whatever. And oh my gosh, I had to get these. These were 40% off. They're so cute. I cannot wait till he fits in these. Look, okay, first of all, there's a story behind them. I'm gonna show you what they look like first and then I'll tell you the story. But I got these super cute striped overalls. And the story behind these, I had to get these because my grandpa, uh, my grandpa was a farmer up in Iowa and he always wore these striped overalls. And um, my grandpa's no longer with us, but I wanted Lucian to represent that side of my family and my good old farmer grandpa who wore these overalls. So um, I had to get some for him and they were 40% off so I couldn't resist. So love these. Also, I got some, speaking of overalls, we went to Old Navy. First of all, we got, I got this other pair of overalls. These cute little, it's like a little romper overall kind of situation. Uh, but these are so cute. And I feel like he'd fit in these now. So we need to start putting an outfit together, which I have the perfect outfit in mind, y'all. You're not gonna be surprised by this at all. So we got this t-shirt <laughs> from Old Navy. This cute little striped t-shirt. And if you know where I'm going with this, then you know. If you know me, you know. Uh, this whole shirt, Dallas and I saw this and immediately, if, if your brain is going here, let me know down in the comments if you thought of this the second you saw this. Dallas and I were like, that looks like a Chucky shirt. <laughs> You know we had to do it, y'all. You know we had to. Okay, so we got the striped Chucky shirt. I mean, it's not the exact Chucky shirt, but you know what I mean. It's got Chucky vibes. Anyways, I was thinking the Chucky shirt with the whole little, what is it? With the whole little overall, this whole Chucky summer moment needs to happen. It's gonna happen. We're gonna make it happen. So we got Lucian his first ever Chucky outfit. <laughs> You know, we had to do it. Okay, anyways. Oh, why are we this way? Why are we this way? But, you know, we had to. But also got this super cute red romper, kind of red rum. <laughs> Here we go again. So I had a sale on some of these little ribbed sleepers, which I love these. These are nice and lightweight, but they're also really stretchy. I love the whole ribbed material. So we got the navy blue color. Also got this sage green color, which I love a good sage green and or barf green. Anyways, that is it for this baby haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say hey, ghoul, hey, down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. And yeah, anything else you want to chit chat about down in the comments, how you're doing, how your summer's going. If you're seeing any Halloween out there, please tell me if you are down in the comments because I haven't seen one single thing and it's killing me because I keep seeing that people are finding stuff out there and my area has nothing, nothing at all. And I, I went out and I filmed a whole situation. We went out and looked for Halloween and we didn't see one single thing. Let me know if you still want to see that video down in the comments, even though we don't see anything. Or maybe I'll try to go one more place and see if we can find one little hint of Halloween. Uh, but let me know if you still want to see it, us cruising around with good old Mr. Skeleton down in the comments. And yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.